now 5.50 in the morning and it's time to, to run a little bit. You look tired today, Thomas. No, 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 never. <laughs> never, ever. Hey, <No>, no, no. <laughs> Stella, <laughs> tired? Oh, <laughs> fit. <laughs> fit. <laughs> it looks like you're full of energy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I have just been cleaning my Citroën Jumpia after a um, drive up and down to Germany and the reason why I did it is because later today is coming a customer to look at it and he actually called me when I was at Spa and raced and he had been waiting for me to come home and um, he told me he wanted to have it if the car is as nice as I told him it is and the car is in mint condition so for sure you're gonna buy it, look at it, it looks really nice Here is one of my best friends coming, Nico Nico, ice cream, that's not healthy this is for me. Please give me one. Nico called me 15 minutes ago and said he wanted to come to visit. And I said, what did I say? Yes, you can. <laughs> yes, you can if you get ice cream. Yeah, if you bring ice cream. If you don't bring ice cream, don't come past, I said. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Brownies and salty caramel. No, <laughs> oh, that was really good. I just sold my Citroën Jumpy. It just drove away. And now I don't have a car. So now I have to borrow my mom's car actually. <laughs> I told you guys in one of the other movies that I had a partnership with Uwe Wig, makes a tent. They didn't give me anything the last two years and now I pushed them to get an answer. But now they say no, that's fine. Because I already got a new partner for this. And the new partner now is Hall Gruppen. They're gonna help me with tents and equipment, stuff like this. And they can also print on the wall. So we're gonna print logos now. I hope we're gonna make it's possible to manage like this, two different types. We're gonna look good and be real nice for my sponsors. It's Tuesday morning. <laughs> hey Spen, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm not at my sponsor place, CH Evansen. And we're here next to the water tether. Look at this. Cutting this field with water and sand. This is really cool. And now we're gonna make some uh, special stuff for me. I'm gonna show you later on. Here is Finn Marcus at my place. Now we're gonna take a car and drive together to Sarsborg and do some workout. Running, workout, yeah, running. We are done. Irina was also here today and it was hard like always. I do that. It's time to stretch the legs on some uh, paletten. Like now we're gonna go out and buy some easy ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, ice cream. I want two ice creams. Lion, I want the big one. <laughs> yeah, the big Steven one. Steon is buying. <laughs> <laughs> no, you are paying. No, I got no money. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> then only one ice cream. It's Wednesday and it's already three o'clock. I just arrived here at work. That's because today I've been around organizing a lot of stuff what had to be organized. But now I'm gonna continue with this Machete's GLC. As you can see, most I already took out the other days, but now I'm gonna do the rest and take out the complete dashboard. Every time when you do this the first time in a car, it's always difficult because so many screws you have to find out. It's out, but I have to remove this aluminum piece also. Because when I remove this one, it's gonna be easier to work from the inside here, not to the outside. Now it's time to run with the old boys here. Hello. Hello. How you doing, dog? Yeah, You're a little bit too heavy for running now. Yeah, I'm going to buy some spandex. Botox is for the lips, not for the stomach. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> We are just done with a uh, 17.2 kilometer run. How was it, Magnus? It's uh, great today. Great today, yeah, yeah. it's great today. Yeah. Nice running weather. Yeah, it was perfect actually. Yeah. It was really nice. Uh, you did quite well today, Stian. You Thanks could, a lot. could have done better, uh, but <laughs> maybe next time. <laughs> you have too much weight. Thanks right a lot. Now, so, uh, yeah, I'm too yeah. fat, you mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot for that. <laughs> okay. I am not agree. Uh, I'm skinny now. Ciao, mates. It's now Thursday already. I did a lot of stuff, but I didn't, too, did, I didn't do too much on this Mercedes GLC. I'm going to continue, as you can see here, this piece is a little bit too far to the back, so this we have to push forward. So now I need to use hydraulic to push there, so then I have to make a support on the brackets to the seat, or something from this side to the other side to push against, you know, so I can push forward. This I have to manage now. It has now started to rain heavy, and I have forgot to close the sunroof. And my mom gonna kill me if he, she find out I forgot the sunroof open when it's raining. Hello BMW, please close your sunroof. Close sunroof. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I have now decided to put this car in the, the, in the straightening bench. 
because it's going to be easier to put it in the bench and have a little bit um, drag on it from this point and forward. This we're going to do now. I thought now I actually can show in details how you put the car in uh, in the stretching bench. First thing you have to do is do it like I did now. Lift it up on those um, on those yellows there. We say yellows. And then you have to sweep the floor. That's really important. I hate it when it's not clean. And the bench, the egg, we're going to mount in this. So we have to remove all this plastic shit underneath here. The covers are off and we're ready to roll. The bench on it and the bench is standing there. I'm gonna show you how this works before I put it underneath the car now because then you see it more easy. On this jig, the frame is this arm coming, you can move them. And we have these clamps which going on the chassis there. Yeah, a little bit more up, but you understand what I mean? And we're gonna tighten there. And this is gonna be attached there. And it's four of those underneath the car. Then this frame, the jig, is completely stuck to the car. Then we use the hydraulic tower we're standing inside here. Mount this also to the frame. Then we can drag it which way we want. Now is it ready? Now we're gonna lift the car and then take away those and put it down into these ones. Just have to check that it's fitting on this side. There it goes. And that was that. Now the car is in the frame or the stretching bench. Same time I have the car in the air now. I'm gonna take out the damper because we need to change this bolt because that's bended. Damper is out. It's Thursday evening. I want to do a little bit sport now out here at family. But it's summer times now so it was closed 15 minutes ago. Then we go back. Then we go home and do some office work and prepare for tomorrow. It's Friday, and it's just past 6 o'clock in the morning. Espen, I always over there, right? Are you in form, Espen? You know, one. Ah, very good, very good. Yeah, good. My plan now is a little bit here on this one. It's like going on skis. Hello, Candy. Hello, <laughs> How are you doing? Very huh? good. Very good? Yeah. <laughs> I am now down at Olsenby Locking to mix some color so I can paint uh, the inside of the motor cover and the chassis on the GLC. My mom's BMW was out of fuel now, so I gave it back and uh, take another one. <laughs> I have no again at my sponsor place, CO Evanson. Yeah, they are making some really cool stuff. This is some kind of uh, heat wexel changing machine. I don't know actually. And the reason why I'm here today it's because I'm making and borrowing some steel pieces because I need to make a big support to have inside the Machetes, Machetes GLC when we're gonna straight it up. This one often they are made, eh? Made oh, here. This it's huge, or? Uh, it's not a heating machine, it's a time machine, the boys are saying. <laughs> the big boss is down here, but he hates that I make movie of him. Wait a minute. Hey, cool. <laughs> Like you guys saw, he don't like to make movie for him. <laughs> no chance to do it. Now I got some pieces. Now I can uh, weld myself some supports. Henrik also gave me a bag full of uh, full of gadget stuff. That's really cool. I love that. Back in the workshop. Now I'm gonna continue straightening up this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's already much better here. We got it a lot to the front. So what I'm gonna do now? Why I was at my sponsor, Seo Evanson. It's because I picked up a big plate. I'm gonna cut and make fit here on the bolts to the seat. We're gonna bolt it there really hard and we're gonna weld a bracket up to this one. Put a new one here and make a really solid support. We can use the hydraulic against and push to the front. And when that's ready, we're gonna use the hydraulic inside there, push to the front. Same time, using this hydraulic tower we're gonna drag it to the front from, from, from this position, like this, with this, uh, this clemme. It's uh, really important on damage like this, that you get the right momentum first time you try to pull it back. Because you can also you can do big damage if you drag and push it wrong direction or with wrong pressure or from, from wrong positions. This is actually really important. When you look at the damage like this, just think how it went, how it happened and take it back the same way. It's logic actually, but it sometimes it's not that easy, you know? So that's why we have to make the support and stuff, not to make it good. 
And all this stuff, I learned from my father. He's an expert. But if you ask my father, my dad, he say that I learned all this myself because he say that it doesn't matter what he told me during my life to learn me something, he said I never listened. So he mean actually I learned everything myself, but that's not true. I listened a lot. Plate is mounted. Now we're gonna weld this one there. But it's half past five, Friday evening. Not Friday evening, it's Friday. It's too early to be evening. And I go running now. Six o'clock is running. Boys, is it only us today or what? Yes. That looks uh, not too good. No, then we start. Come on. Y'all here say he gets so really, really embarrassed when I make a movie of him, so... It was Randy. <laughs> Randy. <laughs> what did we do today, Jale? We have been uh, running. Mm -hmm. I don't know, 14 or 15? Ah, no, 14.6. 14. 14. 14. Let's say 15. Yeah, 15. <laughs> Easy run. Yeah. 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 Me and my brother, we thought we can show you guys some better onboard action from the races. So we are now on the way to buy... Pro. Pros. Go pros. <laughs> I don't know if I said it, but it's Saturday. I'm continuing making the support. We're gonna have inside the DLC. Now I'm welding, now I'm gonna cut and weld on these uh, small pieces. And this is gonna work like um, uh, stairs, where we're gonna put the hydraulic. You can put it there, and then we can put it there, and we can put it there. Done, but now I have to go and help my friend Nico to mount a front bumper on the fender because I promised him to promise to help him with that today. So I'm gonna go and do that now before I'm gonna watch the Formula One and the WTCR. Oh, how is it going, Nico? <laughs> Nico tells me he was playing paintball yesterday. <laughs> Show me the marks, Nico. <laughs> <laughs> Now is it time for some fish and green stuff? Together with the Formula 1 qualification from Paul Ricard. Now is it time for WTCR start from Portugal. But I just saw what happened. Look at this now. This is not good at all. This is so bad for Rob Huff. Who won the qualifying and started P1. Look at this. This is... Oh, this is really hard to watch. Here from a different angle. Shit, those car is pretty bad damaged. I am back at work. Now is the time to try to fit my special tool. But first I'm gonna eat this ice cream. It's in! Next thing to do now is make some support from there to there to keep it more to the front. Now I'll fit it this so this is gonna be a little bit longer. Then we're gonna use this one. Like this, and now I can Turn this one and it go tighter. No, that was the wrong way. This way. There we have one on the other side too. Now when it's bolted there and this one and weld it together, I think this is pretty solid. And now we can use the hydraulic and push to the front. Not too bad, or? <laughs> it's Sunday. Now I have to tell you guys something. Yesterday I went home to watch the restart of the WTCR race after the crash. It was delayed. And I think the race ended around 8 o'clock. My brother was there at my place. And I fall asleep and it was one lap remaining or something. When the race was over I remember my brother was standing up to take off the projector. I turned off the computer with the keyboard and I said I'm just gonna sleep a few more minutes in the chair, you know. And I said to my brother, I'm coming over later. But I wake up half past 11 in the night. And then I go straight to bed and I slept to 15 past 10 this morning. So I slept around more than 14 hours. <laughs> that was really it's so beautiful weather today, I thought I can stay outside, paint the primer on the new parts. I'm now done painting the parts with primer and I lift everything inside. 14 kilometer run is done. Together with some nice food from my mom, it's time for the French Formula 1 Grand Prix. Here we go! Now it's also the WTCR from Portugal start, second race. I am going to Germany in less than a week. So we end this vlog now. I say thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please put a thumbs up. Throw in a comment what you think. Like always. 
and the next vlog is coming in a few days and then you're also going to see some more helmet painting because I have one more helmet I have to paint I have to make it finish this week actually